This conference is celebrating the 100th anniversary of the discovery of quantum mechanics, which uh, came about in 1925. Uh, often it's useful to go back to the history of problems and concepts to get a really clear idea of what the outstanding issues are and different perspectives on the things that we're continuing to think about. So the metric for success for this conference is a bit difficult to quantify. What I'm really interested in seeing is how the ideas from the history of physics both uh, inform research trajectories that people are currently investigating, but then uh, new ideas and new problems that people start thinking about as a result of realizing that there are historical problems that still remain unsolved in our understanding of, of quantum mechanics, um, and particularly thinking about how to generalize it to, to gravity and other applications. I'm Doreen Fraser. I'm a philosopher and historian of quantum physics and I work here in the philosophy department at the University of Waterloo. One of the courses I teach is called Quantum Mechanics for Everyone and so it's really important to me to not only be doing research that I'm communicating to experts in the field but also conveying what we do understand about how quantum mechanics works to the public and to a general audience is really important in the work I do.